It's 532. Here are your headlines from SouthFlorida.com. Big labor and big retailing going head-to-head -head in North Miami. This is all part of an ongoing effort by labor unions to crack down on Walmart's non-union stance. Carlton Smith has the story. Hundreds of pro-union protesters showed up in full force at the North Miami Walmart and they weren't interested in any discounts. I became involved with the union, um, went to work one day and I was told I was terminated. Unions have been targeting Walmart for years without success. The world's largest retailer maintains that they want to be able to hire employees based on their merits not their union affiliation. Protesters are claiming without proof that Walmart fired six employees for organizing at the North Miami store. Their reasoning for firing me was saying because of my attendance. Here in particular, they fired some of the folks that decided they wanted to choose to be union members, and we're not going to tolerate here in South Florida. The union claims that they're looking out for the employees' best interests. So union workers earn about 35% more than non-union workers across this country. Uh, Walmart would have you believe that we're just in it for the money to, to take money out of the employees' paycheck. That's not true. Walmart's position is that the unions are not a better deal for the consumer or employee. They issued this statement. Walmart jobs are good jobs with competitive pay, benefits, and advancement opportunities. Looking at all we offer, many of our associates just don't seem to feel that union membership would be a better deal. Former Walmart employee Pamela Hall disagrees. Walmart is against the union because it's going to give the workers a voice. In North Miami, I'm Carlton at SouthFlorida.com.